Hi, I'm Mike with Morgan Inspection Services. Today I want to show you how to change the capacitor in your air conditioner. It's a fairly simple thing to do that just about anybody with some basic handyman skills can do and save quite a bit of money over calling an air conditioning technician out to your house. But first I want to show you real quickly a couple of troubleshooting things that you can do if you notice that your house just isn't as cool as it normally is. So let's go outside and uh, take a look at your condenser unit. So the first thing to do is just look and see if the unit is running. If it's running, then uh, there's a couple things you can check. If it's not running, what you do is first check the disconnect. That's this right here. Uh, they have pull-out types of disconnects. Make sure that's in place. And they also have a disconnect that's more like a breaker. Check and make sure that the breaker's on. If that, the breaker's on or the disconnect's in place, then the problem is beyond the scope of this video. Uh, so in this case, this is running. So there's a couple of things you can check to start figuring out what the problem is. First, feel the air that this is blowing out. If the air conditioner is working properly, then the air that's blowing out will be hot. It'll be uh, quite a bit warmer than the air temperature outside. Another thing you can do, we'll come around here got two refrigerant lines, a small one and a big one. Check this Freon line. So if that's room temperature, the same temperature as outside, then you're either out of Freon or your compressor's not running. And that's the case uh, on this unit here. This air blowing is the same as the temperature outside and the Freon line is not cold. So the next thing I'm going to do is check the capacitor. Let me show you how we do that. Okay, so I've turned the air conditioner off inside the house and then the next thing you've got to do before you do anything here you must turn off the power to the unit with the disconnect so this is a breaker type so you just flip it off just like a light switch just like a breaker and then every unit will have a access panel to the electrical so you've got to open this panel up And here's the capacitor right here. Uh, now these capacitors, they hold electric charge. Even if the disconnect is, uh, has been disconnected, this can still hold a charge that can give you a pretty nasty shock. So what you want to do before you touch that capacitor, you want to use a screwdriver or something metal to touch the contacts together to dissipate any voltage. That way, there's no danger of getting shocked. Let me show you on this capacitor what I'm talking about on dissipating the charges. Just take a screwdriver, make sure you're holding only the rubber or plastic handle, and you touch these terminals together. That will dissipate any charge and make this capacitor safe to touch. Okay, now I'm gonna take a, a picture before I take the wires off, that way, I get the wires put back on correctly on the new one. But I'm going to start just by taking the common wire off. And on this cover, it shows that this is 70 by 5 capacitor. That means 70 microfarads by five microfarads. Uh, one of these uh, connection points is to kick the fan on, the other one is for the compressor. Since the fan was running, that part of the capacitor is obviously good, but the compressor is obviously not running, and that's why we're not getting any cold air. So you can use a multimeter uh, that checks capacitors, or if you don't have one, and this is not a cheap multimeter. Uh, this capacitor 
cost $20. If you don't have a multimeter, just go buy a capacitor and replace it and see if that fixes the problem. But if you have the multimeter, so much the better. So that shows less than one microfarad there. And there we've got about five. So 4.3. So that's the fan one. Uh, the one for the compressor was less than one. It should be 70. So obviously there's a problem. Okay. So what we're going to do is just pull the rest of the wires loose. So you've just got two screws holding these little bands on. You just got to take these two screws out. Take the capacitor loose. You can put the new one back in. my hole lined up. Okay, so trying to read these here. Um, Brown goes on the fan. Blue is on Herm, which is for the compressor. And the yellow is common. So that's basically all there is to it. So we'll close this up, we'll turn it on and see what happens. Okay, so the cover's on. We're gonna turn the power on and see what happens. Okay, so it's been running for about five minutes. We're starting to get hot air blowing out of the condenser unit. The Freon line's getting cold and I'm ready to enjoy a cool weekend inside the house. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you.